Grading students, I'm outside right now, and what we're gonna do today is measure how tall this pole is using a screenshot and me. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves on, in isolation. Uh, thankfully, you guys can go outside and walk and play. Just keep your social distance like I'm doing right now. There's nobody around me. We've already measured how tall a building was using proportions and shadows. We're gonna do the same thing using the same idea, except we are going to use a screenshot of that pole that I showed you and a screenshot of me standing next to the pole. I'm going to go walk over to the pole, stand by it, and then I'm going to have this camera on a tripod. We'll take a screenshot and we'll take that screenshot and measure how tall the pole is and how tall I am. And then we're going to actually measure how tall I am and compare that using the arrow method. Greetings class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here and we'll take the screenshot of me and then we'll figure out how tall that pole is compared to my height with the screenshot and knowing how tall I am. So let's go ahead and take that screenshot right now. All right, I think that was a success. So let's take that back into my office and then we'll work on the math in there. Welcome, I'm back at my computer and I took a screen capture of the uh, video from outside. And here on the screen, I'm gonna write down all the calculations. And so that way when you do the assignment, you can know what to do. So let's get at it. So the way I set up my proportion down here is that I'm looking at the pole and matching it up with me. Measuring that up is about 8.6 centimeters. And then when I measure myself, I'm 2.2 centimeters. So that's the ratio I'm dealing with. After that, I just actually measured myself with the meter stick and I am about 173 centimeters. So I'm gonna put that underneath the section of me, which is 2.2. So the big question is, how do you turn a 2.2 into a 173? And the easiest way I could do it, and you can use a calculator for this if you'd like, is that you divide by the 2.2 and then multiply by 173. In other words, you divide by what you have and you multiply by what you want to get. So in this case, I have the 2.2 on the picture. I measured that and I want to multiply that by 173 because that's actually how tall I am in real life. So now to figure out the pole's height in real life, I do the exact same thing. I divide 8.6 by 2.2 and then I multiply it by 173. And after I do that, my answer is 676.3 centimeters. And you might be thinking, I don't even know what that means. Here in the United States, we deal with feet and inches. So if I convert this into inches, first of all, I need to know how many centimeters make up an inch. And 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. So what I need to do is divide 676.3 by 2.54, and I get 266.3 inches. Again, with something that tall, we don't want to deal with inches because it's such a small unit of measure. I need something bigger, so we can convert that to feet. And it takes 12 inches to make one foot, so now I divide the 266.3 inches by the 12 inches, and my answer is approximately 22 feet. So that pole is 22 feet tall in real life, approximately. Now I can't really prove it because I'm not gonna climb up there to figure out how tall it is. What I encourage you guys to do is try to do the same thing. Go outside, take a picture of you standing next to something, and then just measure how tall that thing is that you want to measure and then use this method here that we just did to figure out how tall it is in real life. You can do that with buildings, you can do that with cars, you can do that with things that are even smaller than you if you want to. Let's take it back outside and finish it up out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you want to see any more videos, I'll have some over on the side over there. You can link on some of the uh, info cards up on top that I had earlier. Uh, have a great day and keep on mathing. You done? <laughs>